Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ramya from Desi Gal 1010. Today's video is going to be a baby essentials video. I hopefully will take you around a mini tour around my bedroom and also show you the items I have currently. Um, I am 36 weeks pregnant at the moment while I'm filming this and um, this is our second baby so I kind of have a better idea than the first time. So hopefully this video helps some of you. I'll see if I can um, not make this video too long and add some mommy essentials as well. But if I cannot, I'll try to film a separate video uh, with uh, new mom essentials as well. Items which you either have to pack in your hospital bag and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, the first items are going to be your diapers and uh, wipes. Um, this list is basically for people who are in US or America. Probably based on uh, where you are, your list might differ a little bit, but I'm going to show you the items I have currently in my bedroom, okay? For the obvious thing, um, you need to have something close by your bed or bedroom. We don't have a changing table, but this is a nightstand and this is the items that we have here. Um, just a regular bag that you can find on Amazon. I have all my diapers. We use this currently for our older uh, child. And I highly recommend a refillable box like this. So you'll be able to refill all your wipes. Um, although the Dabba box says uh, Pampers, we used to use water wipes for our newborn in, for the initial six months. The next is you also want to use a good uh, good diaper rash cream to prevent any kind of rashes on your baby. This is the one that we use. It's called Aquifer Healing Ointment. This is the baby version. You have a regular non-baby version as well. And this is the advanced therapy. So that's that. Um, next is, I mean, you can use your preferred choices of uh, baby lotions. We use a combination of baby Dove and Aveeno baby as well. Uh, the next is your sleeping arrangements. In my opinion, baby has to sleep separately. We don't have a cradle or a swing. But this is what a pack and play crib looks like. It's by the brand Graco. Graco pack and play crib. It's quite large. Um, and it comes with two levels. This is the lower level. There is an upper level that comes where you can place the baby um, and take them out safely from the crib as well. So this is what we are going to use for our second baby. And the first baby will shift to a regular uh, toddler bed. So that's that. Uh, the next few items I can think of in my mind are your medical essentials for the newborn baby. So this, if you see, it is a... Um, what do you call it? It is a, ah, na, na, my son is outside knocking on the door. So this is a um, essentials grooming kit. It came with a bag like this. So I just stuck it with a push pin. And with this kit came like your regular nail clippers and a few combs, few brushes. They also gave this pouch where you can travel with these items in the pouch. What other items I have here are nasal drops. These are from the brand Little Remedies. And you use these saline spray nasal drops for babies as young as newborns as well. It's completely safe. It helps them clear their um, nasally congestions. And you also have these kind of boogie removers from the nose that helps them breathe better. The next is related to baby's health while uh, they have cold and fever is, if I can take this out with one hand. These are the Zarbi's soothing chest rub. Um, you basically don't want to use it in the nostrils. It's just like Vicks version for babies, which is safe. You can use them on their chest, uh, on the back and on the... Uh, feet as well so that is that the next i highly highly recommend is a thermometer so this thermometer reads when you place it on the forehead and you can scan it turning it on like this um, it's a smart glow exergent temporal scanner we got this from amazon 
it you can take the lid off and use use this basically on the baby's forehead few non-essentials that can wait is a diaper bag like this i highly recommend something which is gender neutral lot like not like a flowery flowery printed bag um so and this is like a um, school bag or a backpack kind of a thing where you can wear it on your back and your hands are basically free to hold the baby this diaper bag is quite big quite large it has multiple pockets you can also use this front zip it has like a thermal uh, protection which you can use for any breast milk pumped bottles or your regular bottles milk bottles and i usually have like a diaper cream a uh, few wipes uh, cloths diaper disposable covers like this extra pair of clothes etc and i also always have a disposable uh, wipes uh, travel packs like this so it comes with a small uh, clasp which keeps the wipes from not drying out so i have this also in the bag these usually have like side pockets where you have options to place this so this is like a face wipes pack that i have right now um, basically something that you can use on the on the go if you're like traveling with your baby so that's our diaper bag the next item is uh obi we have uh, by the brand obi it's obi or abhi however you want to say it it's a diaper genie kind of a thing where you can uh, dispose all of your dirty diapers in here um it also has a child lock uh, we got this from amazon as well and the child lock doesn't let you open it but if you turn the knob out that's when you can uh, slide this door out we usually uh, replace this diapers uh, diaper pail once in every four days i think four or five days and we use regular trash covers um, in this obi disposable diaper pail next item i would say is essential for uh, my household is this vtec baby monitor if you are in a different levels where the bedroom is in a different place and you are going to be in a different place i recommend a monitor which also has video facility but this works perfectly fine it comes with two um, sets like this that you can use one in the other uh, rooms and plug in the wires so yeah so this is the car seat that we have uh, it's a graco car seat and so this is the base that comes in you usually get two bases where you can put both the bases in one in each car this is our um son's uh, baby car seat that we had which we are going to use for our second baby as well and this was actually borrowed from our friends um you you should have your car seat before your baby is born else they do not let you take the baby from the hospital back to your house the car seat usually comes in a set where you have like a stroller and the car seat but we don't you we never used that for our uh, son when he was a baby um this is like a click and connect basically you have to shift the car seat into the stroller and you can use this it's a lighter weight than your regular stroller that you get the regular stroller comes with a seat where you can see the baby without a car seat but this is just like a frame and you you need to have the car seat um to use the stroller obviously a bathtub all of these items are sitting in our garage at the moment we'll uh, take it up uh, sanitize them clean them and then use for the second baby excuse me for the bad lighting guys but the next items i want to also show you are a bottle sterilizer this is safe for usage in microwave you can just um, google for a bottle sterilizer on amazon this one is a, from the brand munchkin but you have multiple brands out there um, you open this box put all the um, bottles in and sterilize them in the microwave this is like a bassinet that you can use for the first few um, weeks of the newborn baby it's not going to be useful after um, maybe like one and a half or two months but this you can happily use it till that time frame 
and uh, like I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned this, but most of these are borrowed from friends. Um, you hardly use these items for a longer duration. This is a boppy feeding pillow. You usually use this. Um, this goes around your waist and the baby sits or sleeps around here and you can use this to feed them. Last item I want to show you is this high chair that we used for Rishan when he was a baby. We still use it for him. Uh, he's a toddler at the moment, but he also has like a booster seat that is strapped onto a dining chair. And the last item is a bottle warmer. Now this is usually useful for warming up the water if you want to use a uh, formula or you can use your uh, stored uh, breast milk bottles also. You can warm the bottles here. You're never supposed to warm a breast milk in a uh, microwave. It will spoil the milk. So this is a bottle warmer by Munchkin. You have multiple brands. All right, guys, so that's the list of baby items I have currently and I'm all set for my second baby. I will try to add pictures if I've missed any items. I did make a list um, so I didn't forget anything uh, out and I went through this list of items and showed you everything that I have. Um, one recommendation or disclaimer that I will give is it's best to borrow whatever items you can. Uh, right now with our second baby, we have borrowed clothes as well, which were gently used um, and um, which are in good condition. You will need like burp cloths, mattresses, um, washcloths, uh, blankets, etc. And you will not use all of the items every single time. So you probably can buy like few items and then you know you can borrow the rest if you have a, a circle of friends that you're comfortable with um, around you so that's my recommendation it's of course individual uh, perception on how you want to take it but yeah i hope this video is helpful let me know in the comment section below and please follow me on my instagram handle as well which is the same username dcgal1010 I usually am quite active on Instagram and I will definitely answer any questions in your comments in the comment section of this video or in the Instagram handle. All right. Take care. Uh, protect yourself and your family from COVID-19. And uh, yeah, all the best. Bye.